<laughs> that was very loud. Okay. So this is a, if you can see this, this is a, a slide of how many hours I have of schooling. I have more student loan debt. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I have more hours than medical doctors when it comes to their training as far as helping you heal, helping you be healthy, helping you be strong. And so the whole point of this is that when you think of Dr. Joe, when you think of what we do here, I want you to understand that we help everything and anyone, okay? Everybody of all ages, newborns, pregnant moms, for everything and anything except stitches and emergency surgery. Anything else you can think of will get better here in time. Tonight, we're going to talk about sleep and desserts and stuff, but when you're wondering about what I do here, what goes on here and has gone for the last 30 years, it's literally everything you can think of. So tell your friends, your mommies, your daddies, your brand new babies, all that stuff. They should be in here because Dr. Joe can help you with everything and anything except stitches or emergency room surgeries. So that's, and I have the hours to prove it. And that's my family. I have the family to prove it. Everything that, I, again, I wanted to give you some real food. Okay, everybody say real food. So the uh, no bakers are what I eat on a nightly basis if they're in the house. The brownies is what I make for me. And I have, I don't skip dessert. I try to have dessert every night. Now my dessert is man-made. You can pronounce or God made stuff. I make it myself from scratch. You can pronounce what's in it. It has a life-giving effect on me. If I have a couple, if I have the whole batch, well, you know, that might be a good thing, but it's okay. And that's really what I want you to understand is that this is the stuff, what I talk about tonight for you is what I feed myself. I don't deprive myself of anything. I, I find, well, I'll take that the wrong way. Uh, I try to find the healthiest version of it and I eat as much as I want of it. But I also put things in my life to protect me from me. And I wanna go over that before we get any further. But again, and I've been here since 1991, over half a million adjustments. Again, this is the place people come when they need help, okay? And you can find us on YouTube. The reason why I'm wearing this is that we make a better sounding YouTube video so people can hear me hopefully better. <laughs> um, but it's all there. It's all there. Um, we have a podcast. It's really cool. My wife and I sit down. We talk for 30 minutes. Uh, and we've had probably, I don't know, six to eight shows out right now. Our newest show coming out in January will be on fentanyl and how one pill can kill. But why is that? And the reason is because the minute a child's born in America, they're taught, well, here, you don't feel good, you hurt, you're not happy, here, here's a medication. And we give it to them. So they learn from day one that when you're not happy and you're not feeling good and you're not, something's wrong, then we need to find, go to the pediatrician, go to the doctor, go to the man in the white coat or the hospital, and here's the pill or here's the thing to treat because there's no way your body could heal itself or there's no way you could figure this out on your own but there's no way that we're afraid that the body can't do what it needs to do. Well, what happens when the child's 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 years old and has a bad day or is not doing so well or stressed out because it's the holidays? All they know is what can I take to make this better? So then they go on Snapchat or they go on TikTok or they go whatever and they order a medication. They never think that that's going to be laced or illegally made or something's wrong. They just know that the solution to their bad day is outside here. And I need to take something, shoot something, drink something to make me better because we were never taught that no, 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 no. Here's how you get over this. And that's what I want to cover today as far as helping you get through the holiday blues. But that's what our podcast is going to get after. Me and I, Mrs. Ivory, we're, just, we're making bets of how long our podcast will be available until it gets canceled because we're telling the raw truth about, all, about everything, about how we raise life. And the story's different than out there, but out there, you wanna, again, I'm going on of a rant. You wanna why, why everybody's so sick right now, and why RSV's through the roof? It's because everybody listened to what they said for the last two or three years, and now they're just trying to rebuild their natural immune system. They're not sick. They're, they're trying to rebuild their natural immune system. So I digress. Here's the issue about the holidays. It's not just about you. 
your spirit, your soul, your body. And at Christmas time, sometimes they get all out of whack because someone's going to come visit, right? And, and again, you're going to hear me say this over and over and over and over and over and over again in 2023. 23, connection. It's all about connection. It's not so much what you do first, it's what your connection is. So what's your spiritual connection? Again, it's Jesus's birthday, right? So let's get reconnected to him. It's important. If you have more connection to Jesus at Christmas time versus Santa Claus, you might be okay. But then how about your soul? Your soul is your mind and your will and your emotions, your thoughts. That can be disconnected, especially at the triggers or the memories or the things that Christmas past has caused us. And then there's our body. Because here's the issue. The holidays, right? Our Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's Day, New Year's Eve maybe. It's four days. It's not three months. So you don't have... So again, if you take November, December, and January just to do whatever and eat whatever and not get any sleep and trash yourself out, there's your sign. There's your sign. You might lose your connection spiritually, soul, and then in your body. And so that's what we need to get into alignment if you really want to have a good Christmas, a good holiday, a good year for that matter. It's all about connection. And because never forget, right? We, we live in a war zone. Every day there's things out there that would love to get your spirit, your soul, and your body disconnected. Um, and whether it's on TV, whether it's in social media, whether it's, 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 it's whatever it is, but the goal is if it can get you disconnected, then you're going to have a crummy Christmas. And then because you're feeling crummy, you're going to go eat things you shouldn't eat. And because you're going to be up all night worried about it, you're not going to sleep. And that just causes more and more disconnection. So we don't want that. So everybody say strong. That's what I want. This is the new thing you're going to hear as we write our books and we do our podcast, Strong 365. Actually, the website right now is Strong You 365. And the, the, I should tell you back, the domain name is Strong You 365. There's no website yet. But again, this is a 24 hour a day, seven day a week, 365 day program for you. Every day counts. You're either getting weaker or getting stronger. Every day your metabolism is getting stronger, it's getting weaker. And we don't want the holidays to blow it all out, make it worse, and cause you six months just to get reconnected again. It's all about connection. And again, like I talked about, the most the world wants to run to this circle here that says emergency medicine shot or surgery. That has a disconnecting effect, not a reconnecting effect. Again, less than stitches or emergency surgery, everything else, medications, all that stuff. Has a, has a disconnecting effect. It kills the pain, which means it disconnected. It kills the symptom. Strong word on the kill, not the symptom, right? So we want to reconnect. So first of all, there's five areas. Everybody say five to make sure we're not getting that brownie coma. There's five areas I want to talk about that if you will reconnect in those areas, then your sleep will improve. Your metabolism will improve. And you'll be the happiest one at the Christmas party, full of joy and peace, regardless of who shows up, because your connection is strong, regardless of what they say, because you're working on your connection and nothing else can touch you. You don't get triggered as like you used to at these things. And so everybody say peace. That's the first thing that I want to reconnect. Are there any areas of your life where you've lost your peace or you've lost hope? You feel like your peace is disconnected. You feel like your hope is disconnected. We need to stop there first. And again, one, one of the things I do to keep myself connected spiritually and in peace as I read in the Bible is there's a book called Proverbs. There's one for each day. And they're really, 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 really good. And every time you read one, you think they rewrote it because it's like, how did he know that? How did God know I was going to need that today? And when you read it, it's like, that's happening today. But that book's been around for thousands of years. It doesn't take long. It takes 15 minutes, maybe. If you're like me and you find a good verse and you want to send it to your kids, it takes a little longer. But I sit and I read because my, 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 I'm no good to you as your doctor if, I don't, if I'm not connected to the guy that created you. To, to, to my, in my world, Jesus. And that's the source. And 
so much mental health issues and so much peace would be restored if we just stopped and and remembered how much God really loves us. I mean, it's Christmas, right? Jesus' birthday. Why did he come to earth? Because he loves you. Why do you sleep in a manger and not the rich Carlton? Because he loves you, right? Why do they put up with all that stuff? Because they love you. So we should be remembered at this holiday season, Christmas season, Passover season, how much he loves us. And then once you realize how much he loves you, then you're supposed to love yourself with that. Because you can't go love others and put up with them unless you love him. It's called a vertical connection, right? I love him. He loves me. Good. I love myself. Then I can have a horizontal relationship or horizontal connection with those who come to my house once a year, uninvited. They never call you anyways, right? Until they need something. But my dad used to always go off on them. Like, what's he talking about? And I'm like, no, I know exactly what he's talking about. So peace is the first one. And there's a book out right now that's kind of cool. It's a little nerdy if you want to get nerdy on your nerdy on about sleep. But he talks about the physical and mental impairments caused by one by one night of bad sleep dwarf those caused by an equivalent absence of food or exercise. So if you want to boost your metabolism, change your mood, literally lose weight, go to green grass, call it go to bed on time. But I can't. Okay, fine. I guess you can. What he says in this book is that you have two parts of your brain. The left side and the right side. You have the corpus callosum in the middle. You have, you, have, you, have, you have right brain, left brain interaction. And when you take something to help you sleep, you're disconnecting that interaction. So therefore, while your eyes are shut, you're no longer dealing with the trauma of that day. You're no longer dealing with the trauma of, that, of the past because you're medicating, you're dwarfing. So whether it's CBD, whether it's, uh, marijuana, cannabis, whether it's a medication, whether it's a beer, whether it's wine, whether it's alcohol, whether it's melatonin, when you're taking something to make your eyes shut and somewhat sleep, your brain's like, you can't fool me. So you wake up even more tired, more disconnected, and you lost that potential eight, six, five hours to help deal with the crap you went through that day. So then you wake up more and more disconnected, trying to find something to help you sleep and the reality of it is, is that we need to stop trying to take something and put something in us called health and work on our connection with our peace, first of all. And then again, praying, listening to good music, all those things help us get reconnected to our heart, to our soul, to our spirit. And so tips to help sleep better. First of all, if you're married, you know what I mean? Have a, have a cold room, right? With lots of blankets. Because when it's cold, it helps you sleep better. Helps versus the hot room. Depends on, you know, not, not everybody is the same. You need, you need a warm room. You don't like a cold room. Okay. So make sure your room is at the temperature you like. Okay. That's a good one. Keep your room as dark as possible. There's another one. Turn the TV off. Get rid of the TV altogether. Get rid of all the lights. Darker the better. Okay. Darker the better unless you need a nightlight, okay? So you don't wake up and kick the bed by accident or the dog, okay? That's what my cell phone is for. Now, I'm guilty, my name is Joe. I sleep with my cell phone in my bedroom because that's my alarm clock right now. But, it's, but my bed's high and it's far enough away so it doesn't really bug me, but I put it down. But if I have to get up, then I just turn, I, you know how you hit the button and there's a little bit of light? <laughs> that way I don't kick anybody. So I have to, because I'm on this side and the bed, bathroom's over that way. And I have dog here and I got a dog there. And so I don't want to, and they put their bones right where I'm going to walk on purpose. Um, use a mask. I don't use a mask, but if I'm like this last weekend, I was at camp uh, and, and bunk beds, people coming and going. So I, I put a t-shirt in my eyes sometimes. My wife has a mask she'll use. So that sometimes does help. Earplugs can help sometimes. Just if you're the first one that goes to bed where everybody's still up, right? Avoid caffeine. Eh, I could drink a cup of coffee right now and go right to bed. So not everybody's different. Everybody's different. Find out what your trigger is, whether it's chocolate or caffeine, things like that, right? Um, sometimes, uh, again, I break some of the rules on that, right? Sometimes dreams can be linked to food, whatever you have. Just 
I'm more probably more Mediterranean, which I can go, I can eat and then right to bed. I have no problems. None at all. Um, don't eat within three hours of sleeping. Again, it depends on who you are. Uh, I don't have that option right now in my life. I usually get home around 737. I spend a little bit of time with my wife working on my connection with her. And I'm in bed by nine. I'm sleeping hopefully by nine o'clock. So I get up at 445. That's when my day starts. So yeah, I'm good there. Get, get a lot of sun exposure during the day. I mean, we live in Denver. We should get lots of sun exposure. Sun is your friend, okay? And if not, you can't get sun, then get a lot of vitamin D in you, okay? But sun is your friend. Exercise regularly. And again, exercise regularly. If it's late at night, fine. Again, I have no problem going to sleep after I, after I exercise. In fact, I take naps sometimes in the morning after a, a hard workout. But the exercise is going to help your cortisol levels to help you sleep. That brain, brain connection, that right-left brain connection, exercise helps bring peace and, and, and healing to that area. I guess I could look right at this. Instead of looking at that, okay. I gave you a handout, didn't I? There it is. I know. Um, avoid bright light after sunset. Now, I, I get that. So the point is that an hour, two hours, some people say, okay, no cell phones, two hours before bed, no TV, an hour before bed. If that triggers you, I'm so tired, don't make no difference. <laughs> Hallmark can be on and I'm about, right? So I go to bed. Some of you though, if you're not sleeping, it could be because there's too much light getting into your brain before you go to bed. It could be because you're on your cell phone too long because that dopamine hits your brain. It could be the TV that you're watching as you fall asleep. That can mess with your sleep. Um, try it for 30 days, get rid of it and see what happens. But eliminating something. And again, wind down at 9 p.m. Me, I like to start winding down about eight. Now, when I start winding down, I'm already planning what the next, my, my most important things I have to accomplish tomorrow. I'll write down three things that I've got to do tomorrow that really will help my day and my life go right. So I have nothing to worry about when I go to bed because I've already decided what my day is going to look like. Okay, it's another workshop on, on, on war planning, but I already know what tomorrow is going to look like. Now, of all the things I want to do, what's the three, top three, maybe five, three things I need to get done? I write them down. So now... I don't have to let the, the gerbil keep running when I go to bed. That's done, right? That's done. If you want to get really fancy, experts say, ask yourself a question you want and let your brain solve it while you're sleeping. So ask yourself, okay, how can I make more money tomorrow? How can I help see more patients tomorrow? How can I help my wife tomorrow? Whatever, whatever question you're pondering, put it out there. Say, brain, what am I going to do with my teenager tomorrow? or to my teenager, then go to sleep on it. Let your subconscious, let your brain go to work on it and figure it out while you're sleeping versus dreaming about all the TV shows you just watched that night <laughs> and dinosaurs chasing you. So those are just some things that you could do yourself. But lots of times sleep is more about when I go to bed, not when I get up. I'm firm on when I get up, but I'm also even firmer on when I go to bed. You got to you got to get that because sleep is so important to your metabolism and to you having good holidays. And if you're like most people, the closer you get to Christmas, the shorter you, your longer your list gets, and the shorter your sleep is. Are we good? Okay, but they can hear me talking. Okay, I don't know. Maybe I've been on some time to go next slide. So everybody say power. So now if I can't tell you how many babies, how many people sleep like last night patient said i slept through the night last night for the first time i slept great after they get adjusted so there's nerves in your nerve system in your spine that if they're stressed you're not going to be able to sleep so this is the whole point where i tell you that if you're not getting adjusted you're missing out on an amazing night of sleep if your babies are not getting adjusted then that's why you're up all night if your spouse is tossing a turn and keeping you awake and their legs are kicking you they need to get adjusted. Getting adjusted changes the future of the family. And again, newborn babies, they want to sleep through the night so that you can sleep through the night. Get them adjusted. And if not, what's stopping you from bringing your baby in to get checked and adjusted? Your boys are getting adjusted. You're, you know, it's such a no brainer. You're brushing their teeth, right? Get them adjusted. You'll change your family's future. You'll change your life. Happy baby, happy life.
Happy wife, happy life. Happy husband, uh, who cares, right? Okay. <laughs> and why? I mean, what did you do for your kids to make them so amazing, Dr. Joe? Well, the minute they were born, I checked their nerve system for power. And we adjusted them. What did it look like? It looked like that. You know, that, that's what it looked like. Just the easy. But unfortunately, there's so much spiritual disconnection to think that that's crazy because the devil doesn't want you, right? It doesn't want you. You know, if you read the story about three wise men coming and Herod and stuff, he wasn't happy that some little baby king was born, right? Why? Well, there's all kinds of stuff out there to make you disconnected. But this little baby's getting reconnected. Best thing you can do for your baby, turn their power on. So how often should a baby get reconnected? Once a week at least, so they're pooping, they're eating, they're feeding. That's just how often do you brush your teeth, right? Because it's good for you. How often should you say your prayers? How often should you eat healthy? How often should you exercise? How often should you call your mother? A lot, okay? But once a week, and again, if this seems weird, then fine. Enjoy not sleeping. Enjoy being stressed out over the holidays. This is the key to keeping no drama in my family. Let me tell you. They all get adjusted. <laughs> no drama. But the point is that by the time you're 70 years old, you knew you've been you've had 3,500 adjustments. You've had 70 pretty good Christmases because you're not stressed out. You've had 70 awesome holidays because you know what to eat. You're getting adjusted. You're exercising. Dr. Joe's praying for you. Dr. Joe's loving on you. So you have someone in your corner for 70 years. Not just you, but your wife and your children for 70 years. You know what I mean? If you're not using this spine geek strong stuff, man, you're missing the party. You're missing the party. Again, there's the proof. There's the proof. Those are my best friends right there. Love them to death. One of the things when you get adjusted is your grumpy hormone called cortisol gets shut down and your happy hormone that lets you sleep, your serotonin gets turned on. In a child, they can sleep, they can focus, they can go to school. They stop punching and kicking their friends, right? As teenagers, they give you some attitude, but not all attitude right? As they grow up, they're healthy, they're strong, and they smile because they have high serotonin levels. Again, the world's trying to find out what they can take to balance out their serotonin so they can sleep. It's already inside you. Get adjusted. It's good for you. You should get adjusted when you hurt. You should get adjusted when you feel great. Just get adjusted. Let your body heal and be strong. When you get adjusted, your immune system boosts. Again, you're worried about everything. Why did we not close down? Why did we not change much? the last few years because we knew that when you got adjusted you'd be fine you didn't change science political science changed but not real science not real truth right i don't want to go too long on that okay but when you get adjusted man your inner leukin your nerve system 200 300 boost right now they're trying to come up with fake news to, to discredit that claim so that we as chiropractors can't say that just fyi that's bad for business if coming here boosts your immune system and you don't have to take any to sleep or to be happy during the holidays, right? But also your digestion gets better. Again, getting adjusted helps everything except stitches and emergency room visits. So your immune system gets better. Your digestion gets better. You, you move around better. Babies walk sooner. They crawl better. You walk better. You don't have to, you don't crawl. You, you wait till you have to crawl. Aches and pains go away. Your energy gets better. Your posture improves and you sleep better. That's why it's so amazing to be here. And again, how do I know this place is for everything and everyone at any age? Because 30 years has proved it. You know, no more diabetes, better grades, headaches are gone, pain meds, cancer. People want to live now, not kill themselves, able to get pregnant, prostate cancer, happy, skinny, having fun. Blood pressure pills are gone. Best mood shape ever. I was a chiropractor for the Colorado Rapids when they won their championship. I've been to two Olympics. Maybe Johnny's happy when he wakes up. We have a lady who um, got married at 16, was married 42 years. Husband died and was depressed for 10 years. Woke up every day missing her husband. Duh, I get that. Started getting adjusted and all of a sudden now she's waking up happy for the first time in 10 years. How does that happen? I don't know, but I just know good things happen when you get adjusted. The serotonin turns on, the cortisol shuts off, good things happen. Anybody in your family depressed? Are they getting adjusted? Well, I'll show you how they can do that in a minute. But again, best shape, best mood ever, championships, happy when they wake up. 
Then she brings her grandson in, and now he's a brand new kid. So I love how th things happen here. Don't legs don't shake anymore. Stop smoking. My eyes see better. I'm out of the wheelchair now. I'm walking on my own, dancing at my own daughter's wedding. No more colic sleeps all night. Again, you can go to Walgreens, you can go to the pediatrician. They've got a pill shot and surgery for all those things. But again, it 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 ruins the disconnection. I'm sorry, it ruins the connection. And you want to sleep better, you want to feel better in the holidays. We want to get you reconnected. So good, so good so far. So if you have any questions about getting reconnected, text me. What's stopping you from bringing, if you're a patient here, what's stopping you from bringing your wife in or your husband? If you're a patient here, what's stopping you from bringing your goats? I'm kidding. <laughs> Don't bring the goats. Yeah, yeah, I know. If, if you're a patient here and you have children, what's stopping you from bringing them in to get adjusted? I sure would like to know. Text me. We'll talk about it. We'll figure it out. We have discounts. We have time. I'm really exhausted for 30 years. If there's a magic word like Jabberwocky or something I can say, pretty much there's a disconnection somewhere, spiritually, soul, or body that's preventing this from happening. But I want to have that conversation with you and figure out what we can get and reconnect because it's only hurting your holidays. My kids get adjusted. They don't have a choice. <laughs> My wife gets adjusted. She likes it. She likes me. But it's really, it could ruin your holidays if they're not sleeping well and doing well. And again, if, you're, if you've never been here before, then you'll get over $500 worth of services for $199. That's our special right now. You get an exam, you get x-rays to find out where your nerves are disconnected, and you get three adjustments to start getting reconnected. Then we'll go over the x-rays and show you where you're reconnected. And at the, at the end of those x-rays, if you thought that was a waste of time, then I'll give you back the 199 I don't care. I just want to get you reconnected to make this world a better place. I want you to get reconnected to make your family change, your family dynamics, your holiday improve now for the next 20, 30, 40, 50 years. Get reconnected. That's really what it's all about. Everybody say fuel now. Fuel. Here's the good part. Okay. If you eat crap, you'll get crap. You'll get disconnected. If you eat fuel, doesn't matter what it is, it'll have a reconnecting effect. Even dessert of all things. So everything I put in my mouth most times has a reconnecting effect. No, I would say all times has a reconnecting effect. Do I have pizza? Sure, but it doesn't disconnect me because it may only do it once a week or once a month, not every day, right? So food can, I try to eat food as a reconnecting effect. Um, so here's the healthy gluten-free brownies. Okay, you have it, here's the recipe. This is grandma's recipe that I share. That's, there's a three by five card in our house. It's laminated, it's worn, it's torn. And now I'm sharing it with you. Now I've made it a little bit healthier, <laughs> but this is healthy, gluten-free. And I'd even say organic-ish, right? But again, you can notice how you can pronounce the ingredient. Now, if you're allergic to nuts, I'm sorry, but you can also make it nut-free if you want to. And if I can do this, anybody can do this. Okay, so cocoa, soft butter, sugar, eggs, organic pink salt, vanilla. Now, when it says one teaspoon, eh, eh, a little maybe extra vanilla. Okay, <laughs> almond flour, coconut flour, chopped pecan. You can use wheat if you want to. I, this is just how I make it. You know when you know when you have a healthy dessert when you have one or two maybe three, and you don't want it, you don't need any more. So many people say, why don't you eat donuts? Because I have to eat the whole box. You can't just have one? No, no, A, it's not food. So now my sugar and my, my hormones are all out of whack. I'm not gonna sleep, right? And I'm gonna eat the whole thing. And then I'm gonna go find more because it just, just doesn't satisfy. So during Christmas, what will I make sure there's there? We're gonna have all kinds of stuff, all kinds of crap. but. What am I going to choose to eat is the stuff that I can have and still have a happy Christmas. So I'll have brownies, one or two. And if I'm eating right, then I really don't want me. It's amazing how when I have the protein that I'll talk about in a minute, then I'm really good. I don't even crave it because the protein and the fat is getting into my brain and body that day. See, if you skip breakfast, you don't get enough protein, you crave sugar. It's not Ben and Jerry's, I promise you. You're not deficient in ice cream, okay? 
but this has the protein and the fat in it that that I that that because again, when if I make them really good, I have one. I go, oh, that's enough. That was rich. You know, and you're like, because your brain says, I'm good. That's all sugar cravings are, is your brain going, I'm not good. I'm re I'm disconnected right now. Can reconnect me with some fuel here, right? And that's what that is. Okay. The next one is the no bakers. Okay. Organic ish, gluten free, no bake cookies. Again, Mama Harvey's been making these for a long time. I made this batch today. You're 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 eating. She 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 walked me through it. But again, the key is that you can pronounce what's in it. God made what's in it. Cocoa. We had a long debate between cocoa and cocoa. I thought that was different. She says, no, it's the same. I'm like, okay. But organic butter, organic sugar, organic milk, vanilla extract, organic peanut butter, and three cups of Bob Red, Bob Red Mill Quick Oats, right? And you just stir them together. There's an art to it. You stir them all, and then you shut off the heat, put in the vanilla, the vanilla, peanut butter, and oats. And then you just take, this is the tricky part because it's a little bit messy, but it, it hardens up. You just take a teaspoon and you on wax paper. Don't put the hot pot on the wax paper. It will melt, okay? Don't win them. But again, how many do you want? Eat as many as you want. Why? Because it's food. In the beginning, you might eat 10 or 12, but you're getting food into your body. And by day three or four, you might only need one or two or three. Put them in the freezer, right? Yeah. So it's really good. That's what I have. And I like them. And they satisfy me, right? And I'm good. Any questions with that so far? Now, if you want to get really fancy, we have some recipes. I'll give you the QR code, but I wanted to give you this here. These are called strawberry fat bombs. I've never made them. They sound interesting. Miss Diana makes fat bombs. She makes the chocolate ones, right? Are they the truffles or are they fat bombs? The fat bombs, yeah. Yeah. But don't let, don't let the word fat bomb scare you because when your brain gets enough fat and protein, it shuts off the sugar cravings. And now you're, 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 you're good. You're good. And again, you know, if you want to use sugar in this, I'm not a big fan of erythritol or Splenda. Not, I'm not a fan of all of Splenda. Um, stevia. I just go with organic sugar or maple syrup or honey. Um, just, just sharing. Sometimes my tummy gets a little goofy with erythritol and all the fake, it's supposed fake. I just use the honey or the, the um, maple syrup or the organic sugar. Less processed, the better. And then you've got gooey chocolate. So let me get my. So you got this strawberry fat cheesecake fat bombs. Okay. Um, for those of you listening, uh, if you want the recipes, you're gonna have to text me at 303-349-6011 because it pays to show up. <laughs> but hang on, I'm gonna give you a QR code in a minute. So get your phones ready. And you'll take a picture of this recipe QR code and these recipes are in there. So don't freak out right now. We got gooey chocolate chip recipes. Again, you can pronounce everything that's in there. They're all good for you, right? They're all good for you. Gooey chocolate chip cookies. And then we've got ginger snaps, which again, on a nice day with, with tea, right? You probably could put a drop of young living ginger oil in there, woo woo, right? More about cooking with oils, see Diana. But ginger snaps are good. Mrs. Arvey has ginger snaps um, and she has them with her tea. Um, me, eh, um, but I'll have them if they're there. But I'm really a no baker kind of guy. Chocolate truffles are yum, yum, yummy. Again, this stuff is like real food. And when you go to the website, you see all these recipes, there's a ton of stuff there, ton of stuff. there. Um, but again, chocolate truffles, right? Himalayan sea salt. Don't be afraid to, you know, just, again, I want you to eat in real food. Then chocolate macaroons, right? Coconuts, really good and healthy for you then there. Yum, yum, yum. And then you got your almond flour bar. I don't want to give you too much chocolate. One time May, she's listening, made uh, lemon cookies. I mean, she might have made lemon bars, but she used equal amounts of stevia to sugar. I ate them anyways, but they were very bitter. So if you're trying to figure out the stevia thing, uh, use drops, not the packets. Because she thought the packets were same as sugar. You only do that once. 
So, but I love my May May. She's awesome. But there's a lot you know, almond flour, lemon bars. And so that's pretty much it for the desserts. I mean, I'll give you the recipe thing in a minute. So get your cell phones ready and I'll walk you through this. So everybody get your cell phones. If you're listening or watching, get your cell phone ready. Um, but if you want to decrease your sugar cravings and you get more protein in your body, especially at breakfast, so eggs, lunch, meat, uh, dinner, protein, chicken, fish, steak, get your protein. If you're, if you're measuring your macros, you want one gram of protein for every body weight. So if I weigh 195, then I want to try to get 195 grams of protein in my mouth, in my tummy throughout that day. That'll make my brain happy, reconnect the hormones, and I won't have the sugar cravings. Do your best. You're probably low on that number by 50%. Probably not even giving half, right? If you have anxiety, if you're not sleeping, sometimes more protein will put your brain to rest because it has the fuel it needs to heal you while you're healing that night from all the trauma of that day. And again, the kind of nutrition that we have for our patients, we want the, your, your body to burn fat and to detoxify, and reduce inflammation, and balance hormone, all those yummy goodness. When you eat these healthy desserts, you're doing that. You're making your metabolism stronger, not weaker. You're not sabotaging the process. You're having your, you're having your cake and eat it too. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So get your phone out. Hit the camera button. Take a picture, not of me, but of that fancy QR code. If you stare at it long enough, you'll see Jesus. I'm kidding. <laughs> Is it? And now those are all the recipes. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, smoothies. Is it working? Good. Smoothies, everything. You have no excuse to be grumpy at all at Christmas. No resting Grinch faces anymore. You'll sleep great because you're getting food in your body. And here's the good news. When I say strong 365, it's because you can use this, what I'm saying right now, every day for the next year and have the best year ever. Okay? So again, grab your phone, turn on the camera, take the picture, the website will pop up, and then there'll be all the recipes. The ones I just went over, except the Dr. Joe ones, those are me, but the other, other ones are right there. Just type it up and it'll bring you right to it. Strong, everybody say strong, strong. as you wrap this up. So there's two zones that you can work out in during the holidays. One is to get your heart rate up. We call that zone four. We do them on Saturday mornings at 8.30. If you go to YouTube and type in Spine Geek, you'll see our workouts there. Michael comes. Patty was there last time, right? It's really good. Heather comes. Eliana does it. But the goal is to get your heart rate up so that your oxygen can go to your hormones, go to your body, and help you sleep. More oxygen helps you sleep, right? CPAP machine, right? You don't want to have to have a CPAP machine, then exercise. It's a natural CPAP machine. So you get oxygen to your brain and then you sleep. Exercise is one of the greatest therapies for sleeping better and building your metabolism. I don't have time. Well, do it while you should be sleeping, right? And then zone four, no, zone two is my new best friend. We're gonna take your breath in through your nose. Out through your nose. Into your nose, out through your nose. That's called nasal breathing. There's all kinds of yummy goodness for you when you nasal breathe. When you go for a walk, try to nasal breathe, nasal breathe only for 45 minutes to an hour. Watch your lungs relax. Watch your body relax. Watch your, the bear stop chasing you. Yeah, how do you know you're on zone two? Because if you try to go faster and you, your mouth opens up, you just went into zone three. Zone two is your long duration, fat burning, endurance burning, cardiovascular heart improvement. It's not the only thing you should be doing, but if zone four is the fruit on a tree, zone two is the trunk. So it builds your aerobic base. I try to get in four hours a week 
of zone two training because it's important to me. And my wife comes with me. So now I'm reconnecting with her while I'm reconnecting my body. So we just go for walks, right? I happen to put on a 40 pound vest because that's just psycho me, but I have things I want that vest to do later on in life. So if I wanna go for a run, I can't, my knees don't, it's rehabbing me. So I'm walking, I'm getting stronger. My joints are getting better. They call it rucking. My wife, God bless her, has a backpack with her little weight in the back and we walk together and I'm connecting to her. Now, if she wants to talk to me, I can't nasal breathe and talk at the same time. So I sacrifice some of my fitness for her. I know what a guy. But nasal breathing is really, you're going to get a maximum benefit while you're walking, while you're riding your bike, while you're stair stepping, whatever it is you're doing for that 45, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, hour, do something, okay, to maximize your metabolism and get more benefit. And again, zone two, that's 60 to 70% of your heart rate, three to four days a week. At additional to zone four, two or three days a week. I mean, you can do this seven days a week if you want to. I do one or the other. Okay. Last one, protect. Everybody say protect. Okay. So what are you thinking about when you think about? What do you think about when you think about? What do you sometimes we have to think about what we are thinking about? And so where do you want to be at a year from now? What do you want to look like? What do you want to feel like? What do you want to sound like? Whatever you do today will have a strong impact on tomorrow. A year from now, five years from now, 10 years from now. Me personally, none of my children are seriously dating anybody, which means I have no grandkids. I'm 57 years old. My wife's just turned 29. <laughs> so we have a lot of living still to do. I told someone the other day, I said, uh, you know, <laughs> some of my friends after 30 years are retiring. I'm just getting started. It took me 30 years to figure out what to do. Now, now I know what I want to do for the next 30 years, right? So why do I do all this stuff on purpose? It's because I still have a lot of, people still expect me to be around for a long time. And I can't be grumpy and pissy and moody at Christmas time, right? And I can't be up all night worrying about stuff. So I have to live my life in a way that takes me on a good journey. So going forward in 2023, I'm going to be working on, again, what we call a war plan. What, do you, what does tomorrow have to look like so that on your next birthday, you're actually happy and you're in shape and your metabolism is strong? It's up to you. But it starts with your thought. It starts with peace first. Get your peace back. Get reconnected in your spirit. After all, it's Jesus' birthday, so let's just connect to him. In your soul, in your mind. Be in a good mood for Pete's sakes. If it kills you. And then get your body reconnected with getting adjusted, eating the right kind of food, protecting yourself from stinking thinking, toxic people, toxic ingredients, toxic desserts, right? And then exercise and come work out with us on Saturday morning. We have fun. It's fun. We'll teach you out. Martin's been there. His family's been there. So again, let's start with 10 years. Where do you want to be in 10 years? Well, then you better figure out where you want to be in five years. Figure out where you want to be in three years. Figure out where you want to be in 12, 12 months. You, again, you're just backing it in. Six months, three months, next month, next week, tomorrow. Tomorrow starts where you want to be at in 10 years. And again, how long does the last 30 years feel like? Two weeks. Again, I don't overthink it, but I'm like, 30 years is going to go by fast. It does. Time flies when you're having fun. So you better grab a hold of tomorrow because you don't. yesterday's gone and tomorrow, I mean, you know what I'm saying? All you have is tomorrow, today. You have to now, you have to remain now. But tomorrow, all you have, you know, you know what my point is? So why not fill it with good stuff? Get rid of the crap. Protect yourself. Protect yourself because, man, all you have is tomorrow. You're not promised another day. And you can't change yesterday. So just squeeze the most you can out of each day 
and have fun, have peace, knowing that the Bible, one of the Proverbs things says that when you're connected to God and he gives you favor, the city changes, it rises. Your family changes. He does that. Your job is to take care of you, not fix them. So have peace. Make peace, right? Get some sleep and take care of today. And then this whole week will go by much better. Then you look back and say, wow, this was a good month. Okay. Why? Because each day you're getting strong, 365. Every day you're getting stronger. And again, if we work in the right essentials, then we're going to get our spine strong and we're going to have less stress because our serotonin levels are high. And then we're going to eat the kind of food that's going to fuel us. So that's going to help our hormones be happy. Then we're going to exercise in a way that's life-giving and that's going to make us sleep better and lose weight and build our metabolism and be a happy person. And then we're going to protect that with the nutrition or detoxing by eliminating things, protecting ourselves. And then our need for that other circle will only be for stitches and for emergency surgeries because you're rocking all the other five circles on a daily, daily basis. And as you do that one day at a time, 365 days of the year, how boring, I know, real boring, but highly effective. I have a man bun. I was kicking kids' butts this week doing burpees and all kinds of physical stuff, right? So it was fun. I got to be with my kids because I do this every day. And so when you put this in each day, then, or each week, then you sleep better. You can put fuel in your body like those, those desserts that we just gave you. And you transform your future. Why do I want you to bring your spouse? Because I want you to have a better marriage. Happy people are much easier to get along with. I want you to strengthen your connection with your spouse. And if you both feel better, then you're both more connected. And that's two less grumpy people in our city. <laughs> Why do I want you to bring your children? Because again, you can be really strong as a married couple, but then the kids make you crazy. So if they're healthy and they're connected, then they're a lot healthier and happier, then their grades are better and your family unit is better. And our community is better. What do I want your friends, your boss, your pastor getting adjusted? Because then they're much stronger leaders and they're going to be around longer to lead you. And so if there's something stopping that, then text me or call me and let me know. But the next thing is then what can you do to help the situation to change your future? I already told you, it's up to you tomorrow to start tonight, get to bed on time and start changing your future for the good. But then you don't want anybody else sabotaging your best efforts. So get everyone around you in here getting healthy and strong 365 so that you can change your future as well. So much more fun.